Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to work with a stored procedure with input as well as output parameters. So I have a stored procedure in which the employee ID is the input parameter. That means I am going to pass employee ID and I am expecting employee name in a parameter called as at e name and employee salary in the parameter called as at e sal. So at e name and at e sal are output parameters. So let us see how to call this stored procedure. As we know that this stored procedure is not at all going to return set of records. It is going to return two single values. It is going to return two different values. To add, I need to follow the same process, right click, update model from database, add that particular stored procedure, set finish. Save this, go for model browser, explore this, should see the new stored procedure that we have added, double click this. Now if you observe, if I say get column information, I should not get any information because this stored procedure is not going to return any rows it is going to return two different values so for this i'll just say okay save this now how do i call this stored procedure the process is same here i'll say oe dot get employee name and salary by EID and here I should pass three parameters one input and two output parameter variables the input parameter is employee ID I'll pass employee ID as four now output parameter output parameter should be of type object parameter there is a class called as object parameter so your output parameters should be of type object parameter. So I need to create two different objects for two different output parameters. So I'll create object parameter. Object parameter class is present in the namespace system.data.objects. So I have added this namespace system.data.object. Now I'll create object parameter objects first parameter is for employee name so I'll take e name is equals to new object parameter and I need to pass two parameters in the constructor that is Output parameter name, output parameter name is nothing but e name and its type. It is of type string. So I'll say type of system dot string so I have created one parameter say e name for output parameter e name this e name should match with the output parameter e name now in the same way I'll create one more output parameter that is e cell for employee salary now this e cell should match with this e cell and the type is it is of type double so you can say system dot int 64 now I got Two output parameters. Now I'll pass e name and 
cell now what is that it is going to do it is going to execute this stored procedure with this as input parameter and it will set the output result to e name and e cell so output parameter values will be set to e name and e cell now i'll display these things and i don't need this grid view anymore when data binding now i get the result in e name and e cell i'll just say response dot write employee name e name dot value dot to string copy this paste it then i'll say employee salary e cell dot value dot to string and i'll give a break so that i should get this in new line save this and execute it so the name is father and the salary is 60 if i change the parameter instead of 4 if i give input parameter as 7 i should get a different result so here i get the result so this is how you can work with a stored procedure with input as well as output parameters so the only different thing here you need to do is create the object of object parameter class and pass them whenever we are calling the method or the stored procedure so this is all about calling stored procedures thank you very much